Sorry for not that I just came in here. Welcome back to my kitchen, actually. Eat this stuff on my bowl. It's just so cool. Welcome how to make slime. You start out, I'm you don't you have to use, you can use any kind of liquid soap. And actually I'm going to find a smaller container than this. Okay, I'm just gonna be using this. That's enough. And I'm not going to give you a specific amount of soap to use, because the more soap you use, the more of the other ingredients you have to use. And our first ingredient, which we're going to be putting in here, is cornstarch. And I have food coloring right here. This is going to be the cornstarch. And this is going to be the other ingredient that you guys do not know yet. Two, three, four, five, six. You only need to put three. I put six just to help it out. The mixture. And the best part about this is I'm actually gonna not use a spoon. Because it's all made of soap, you can use your fingers for it. Now the next part, again I'm not gonna tell you certain amounts. I'm just putting like this much in here for now. Maybe a bit more. There we are. And the more soap you add, the more liquidy the slime will be, and the more uh, the powder you add, the more like together the slime will be. Let's put this back real quick so I don't forget. And then you just mix it. I'm gonna mix it all with my fingers because it still works. Okay, hold on. I need to add more soap. I did not add nearly enough soap into there. It works, don't worry, I've been doing it all morning. I'm just kind of running low on soap now, that's the bad part about it. Re Angry Birds pajama pants. Only pants I can find at the moment. Right here, let me move that out of the way for now. And now let's stir pretty well together. It's slime. Um, now salt is uh, an optional ingredient. It just makes it for the consistency of it'll go down a little bit. And it also helps out with how slimy it is. How slimy it is. And I like to add just a little bit of water because it'll give it a more like gross feeling. You just have to stir out the bubbles because it is soap and it's going to bubble up at water. But there's slime A. Scrape my finger out the sides. Now here comes the second slime. Sorry, I keep stepping out of the frame. I need to wash off my hands after one. Next one, yellow. You want to add a lot of yellow because yellow is early. That strong of a dye. And next we're gonna be using arrowroot. Uh, it's a type of flour and starch, it's kind of like both of them. You don't have to add nearly as much because it is a part of a type of kind of flour. And I'm mixing this now. Well, this isn't see-through container, so I'm going to mix it real quick and then I'm going to show you. But yeah, it gets a really deep yellow look. Well, let me turn this light. So you can see it a bit better. It almost looks orange. It is orange now. I had too much yellow. And yeah, like I said, you don't need to use as much arrowroot, so it's actually better if you use arrowroot because it makes it smaller. It makes the amount of you have to use smaller. Uh, let's put this in here actually now. And you mix them together. 
And if you know how color mixing works, yellow and blue make orange. Not you know, Yes, it's exactly what they make. Yellow and blue make green. You heard it here, folks. Apparently yellow and blue make orange. I don't know why I was even thinking of orange, but you know. And now, uh, you have a safe little slime. And when you want to get it off your hands, all you have to do is wash them off. I'd show me washing off my hands in my sink, but uh, we need to do dishes. That's usually the case here. There's so many dishes. Alex's turn to do dishes. Stir a paint I know, right? My house is awesome. And then just. Why don't you not wash it off? You've actually not only washed your hands, but. You've also have more extra slime. But what I can do is I can hold it like right here and dump it into my sink. Slime. It's fun stuff. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm putting stuff away while I'm doing the outro. If you like, hit the like button down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button for daily content. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the like button down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Meow!